looking at hallux dorsiflexion, the clinical test open chain is, is really to look at the foot. We're looking at the, the range from side on and we're moving the hallux against the metatarsal itself and we're looking for how much we get excursion wise. We're looking in that sort of 40 to 60 degree range. What we're trying to do essentially is we're trying to mimic the foot as it's landing on the ground and as the foot moves up into that toe or phase. And if we've got joint stiffness then there'll have to be a compensation at some point within the foot or at a level higher up to compensate for that joint that is stiff. So we're going to look at first met hallux dorsiflexion. Um, we're looking obviously at this joint, we're looking for the available range of moon in terms of an upward direction and a plantar direction. Predominantly we're interested in the range of moon up into dorsiflexion. And when we look at this joint we can also see there's a limitation through the joint. I'd expect the hallux to be moving up to about this range here. So we've certainly lost a, a reasonable degree of movement through the joint. We can also see some compensatory change around the, uh, the IPJ. We can see this pinched callus formation and a moderate degree of hyperextension at the IPJ, which all supports the fact that we've got slight stiffness through the joint itself. When we try and mimic closed chain, uh, big toe joint range, then we try and load up underneath the first met head itself. So I'm trying to mimic ground reaction force. And then we try and move the joint up into dorsiflexion. We can see how much further limitation that we have around the joint itself.